Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a day of favor for you. It's a day of grace. It's a day filled with God's goodness. I'd like you to understand that every day that God permits to show up on in life is ordained and loaded with benefits. The Bible says in Psalm 68 and verse 19, that blessed be God who daily loads us with benefits. So every day is full of divine benefits. Every day is full of God's favor. And I know today that the favor of the Lord will locate you wherever you are in the precious name of Jesus. This is Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. And I am your privileged host, Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center in Arlington, Texas. God bless you. I'm so excited. Thank you for tuning in to this broadcast today. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I know surely you shall be blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Now, Moment of Empowerment is a broadcast that is designed as a platform for empowering lives towards taking their rightful place in destiny. One of the objectives of this broadcast is to take you from where you are and position you to where God wants you to be. Because you are not created to be on the earth as a wanderer. You are not to be wandering about. You are created to show forth in glory. You are created to show forth in power. You are God's creature that is purposefully packaged by heaven to live as a wonder on the earth. You are designed to show forth as a wonder on the earth. And I believe, God, that today the wonder in you will find expression in reality in the precious name of Jesus. In Psalm 139 and verse 14, the Bible speaking said, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So you are not just a creature of accident. You are a creature of intention. God created you intentionally. The Bible says he created you fearfully. So you are made to show forth great things in the dimension of God. And the Bible says you are wonderfully made. That means you are full of wonder. You are designed to show wonder. And you are to live a life that is wonderful. The Bible speaking says marvelous are thy works. And including you because you are part of God's work. And you cannot fail. You cannot fail. You cannot fail. God has designed you to succeed, to excel, and to make it in life. Therefore, the days of struggle is over for you. In the name of Jesus, the days of famine is over for you. It's a season for you to show forth in the fullness of the person that God has made you to be. And the Bible says in that same Psalm 139 verse 14, it said, These my soul knoweth right well. This. What is that thing? The revelation of my identity, the revelation of my personality. That means that the way you see yourself influences the way you live your life. If you don't see yourself the way God sees you, you may not be able to step into where God wants you to get into. That is why it is very important that you must know it right well. The psalmist says, this my soul know it right well. That is talking about empowerment. That is talking about empowerment. So I can show forth in my wonderful state. I can manifest in my full status when I know it right well. So that is one of the reasons why this broadcast is designed to open up your eyes, to take you from where you are into the reality of where God wants you to be. You are not designed to be a struggler. You are designed to live life in the best, show forth in the best. You are packaged to be glorified. And I know in Jesus' name, your days of stagnation is over. The beginning of new things is emanating from your life in the precious name of Jesus. So when you are empowered, then you can step into the fullness of who God has made you to be. Don't let the devil make you feel down. Don't let the enemy make you look like a failure. Don't let the adversary pull you down. You are not what the devil says you are. You are who God says you are. And you're going to show forth in the fullness of it in the precious name of Jesus. I'd like you to call somebody right now. 
call a friend, call a cousin, you know, get the family together. It is time to be empowered. And when you are empowered, you can show forth in the fullness of who you are designed to be in life. So as you watch me, I'd like you to understand that God has something in stock for you today and you will not miss it. And I don't want you also to let your friends miss it. Call your friend, tell them the station you are watching me right now because God has a word for you that will change your world for better in the precious name of Jesus. I'm so excited to be reaching out to you today because one of the things I know and that God wants to do in your life is that God's word is loaded with the capacity for settlement. God's word is loaded with the capacity for settlement. It is quick, it is sharp, it is active. The Bible says it is powerful, than, uh, sharper than any two-edged sword, and it is loaded with the capacity to enforce settlement in the journey of life. It can settle anything. God's word is loaded to settle financial situation. It can settle marital situation. No matter the turbulence, no matter how thick and tough it has been, when God's word penetrates into your life, penetrate into the situation, it brings settlement. So I know therefore for somebody that today is your day of settlement in the precious name of Jesus. God's word can settle health crisis. It can settle financial crisis. It can bring settlement into every unsettled situation. In Psalm 107 and verse 20, the Bible says, He sent his word. He sent his word. So God's word is always on a mission. And when you give the word room to work in you, it surely accomplish the mission. He sent his word and he healed them. That means the word that God sent has healing capacity. The Bible also says, and he delivered them from their destructions. Destruction. Psalm 107 and verse 20. So no matter the level of destruction, there is the capacity of settlement in God's word. Today in Jesus' name, the word of God will settle you. You are coming out from that financial crisis. You are coming out from that matrimonial crisis. You are coming out from that situation that has made you look like a failure. Because God's word is coming your direction and it's going to bring settlement your way. Things will no longer remain the same for you in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 119 and verse 89, Psalm 119 and verse 89, Bible says, Forever, Lord, your word is settled in heaven. And because God's word is settled in heaven, it can settle any situation on the earth. So today in Jesus' name, as you watch this broadcast, get set for settlement. Some people is listening to me right now. There is about to be a depth settlement in your direction. In the name of Jesus, God's word will bring settlement into your life, your health, your family. Whatever has made your heart not to be settled concerning your son, that your daughter. God's word is bringing settlement today in the precious name of Jesus. All around settlement. Everything about you will be settled. You will enjoy peace in your home, peace in your body, peace in your finances, in the precious name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to dial in right now. Take time out. Call the number that is showing on the screen right now. Call in for prayers because the prayer unction is flowing right now. There is about to be a supernatural settlement in your direction. Call in for prayer right now. The, the number is scrolling on the screen right now. Call in, call in for prayers. The prayer unction is flowing and you will never remain the same. God is going to touch you, settle you, fix you up, bring you from where you are. He's going to restore you in the name of Jesus and things will get to their place in your life in the precious name of Jesus. Nothing is going to remain the same again for you in the precious name of Jesus. So call in right now for prayers. Call in, drop your prayer request. You can also go to the website, the church website, uh, www.wordrevival.org. You can also drop in your prayer request in there. The website is also going to be showing on the screen right now. You can go in there, drop in your prayer request there on the screen. When you get to the website, you'll see a column for prayer request, and your prayers will definitely be attended to, and you will surely have a testimony in the precious name of Jesus. Now, for everyone that is 
watching me today, wherever you are watching in the world, wherever you are, I, uh, I, I have a free gift for you. Absolutely free of charge. We're going to mail it to you. All you need to do is just to request for it. Now, this month and through, we're going to be giving out this uh, free audio CD. It's a prayer message, all through prayer message. It's a prophetic daily prayer. It's a prayer message that is designed to take over your day, to position you for the best of God for the day. In this prayer message, you will get a revelation of how every day is loaded with God's benefit. You will also get a revelation of how the day is under attack from the kingdom of darkness. The Bible says sufficient for each day is the evil therein. Then you understand how do we subdue the evil in the day and connect with the blessedness of the day. It, it's been a blessing to uh, many people all over the world. So I'm, I want to get it across to you wherever you are watching me in the world right now. I'm going to mail it to you. So all you do is just to request for it. Just place a request for it right now. You can call that number on the screen to place a request for the, the, the audio CD. Just ask for the CD. Mercy, the prophetic daily prayer. Or you can also go to the website and you, can, you will see a request button on the website to request for the audio CD. And in the name of Jesus, it will be a great blessing to you in the precious name of Jesus. Now, today, by the grace of God, I'm just going to be revelationally teaching and ministering on what I have entitled, There is a way out for you. There is a way out for you. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know how tough it has been. But surely there is a way out for you. Are you passing through hard times? Are you in a situation where it looks as if all is over for you? Is the wave of life eating you out on all sides uh, and it looks as if you are not going to come out from it? I have a word for you today. There is a way out for you. Listen to me. Life situations are not designed to be the end of life. No matter what you're passing through, no matter when it started, no matter how long you have been in it, it is not designed by God to be the end of your life. Situations are platforms for solution. Situations are platforms for solution. And for every earthly situation, there is surely a solution. No matter the situation, no matter when it began, no matter how tough it has been, even if you are going down the drain, you will surely come back up. Because when you understand that there is a way out for you, you don't give in to the situation or the circumstances that you are passing through. There is a way out for you. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, we're going to be connecting with some revelation from Scripture to let us understand that there is surely a way out for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. The Bible says, There are no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. We will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able, but with it also will make a way of escape that you may be able to be it. Now, there are certain things to underline and to note from the scripture. Number one thing is this. The Bible says there is no temptation or situation. Because one of the things that situation wants to do to you is to tempt you. Many times situations will come our way to tempt us from losing our place in God, to shift us off our base in God, our trust in God, the consciousness of God's love for our life. So what situation wants to do is to serve as a channel of temptation to take us away from what God has in mind for our life. But now you are not failing because you will surely come out from the temptation. As you look at me right now, no matter what the situation is, are you having health crisis? Are you having matrimonial issues? Are your children not there any longer? Probably even if probably you have your son in the jail. I want you to understand that it is not over. It is not over yet until you win because God said there is a way out for you. The word of God says there is a way out for you. And you are not going to end in that situation. You are surely coming out from it in the precious name of Jesus. Now the Bible says that there is no temptation or situation that has come your way that is not common to man. 
I love the way the Good News translation put it. The Bible says that same 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13, the Good News translation, look at what the Bible says. The Bible says, every test that you have experienced is the kind that normally comes to people. So whatever you are experiencing, the Bible says it's something that normally comes to people. But God keeps his promise and he will not allow you to be tested beyond your power to remain firm. But at the time you are put to the test, it will give you strength to endure it and also provide you with a way of escape. It will provide you with a way out. I don't know what you're passing through. I command there is a way out. You are coming out from there. You are coming out from the pit of failure. You are coming out from that situation that has made you to lose all. You might have lost all, but you are, not, you are not going to lose your life. All might have gone, but they are coming back to you. Don't give up. Keep pressing on because there is a way out. Now, let me show you some things from the scripture. Number one thing I saw here I want to share with you because there is surely a way out to encourage you and to let you know that you are not going to end your life and where you are is this. Number one, the Bible says that there is no situation that has come to you but is common to man. So I saw from scripture that situations are part of the journey of life. Situations are part of the journey of life, but they are not the end of life. They are part of the journey of life. You can face them, you can see them, but they are not the end of your life. And one of the reasons why situation comes our way is because there is something ahead of us. There is something before you. There is a place you are going into. And that situation doesn't want you to get there. But you will surely get there in the name of Jesus. You will surely get there in the precious name. God is bringing somebody out from a legal issue right now. You are coming out from that legal issue in the name of Jesus. A way of escape will show for you in the name of Jesus. So situations are part of the journey of life. But they are not the end of life. They are not the end of life. Don't let it look as if it is the end of life for you. David said, even though I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. I'm only passing through because there is going to be a breakthrough. You are only passing through it because you are going somewhere. And when you are going somewhere, chances are that something is trying to block you, to mess you up. But you will surely get there in the name of Jesus. You will get there. In John chapter 16 and verse 33, Jesus speaking, he said, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you might have peace. Because in the world you will have tribulation or situations or circumstances, but be of good share. Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So no matter what you're passing through, he said it's not going to be the end of your life. You will see it. You will find tribulation. You will face tribulation. You will face circumstances. But don't lose your peace. Don't lose your ground. Don't lose your joy. Because that is what the enemy wants you to do. But you are not going to give in because you are going up. And you will surely get there in the name of Jesus. Nothing will stop you. Nothing will hinder you. The blessedness of God in front of you will surely meet up with you. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out from that sickbed. You are coming out from that place. You are coming out from that depth. In the name of Jesus, because there is a way out for you. Glory be to God. So I know you're understanding this. So don't let a situation make you look as if it is over. No, it is not over for you until you win. And you will surely win. You will surely win. Now, keep calling in right now. Call in for prayers. We're still praying. The prayer unction is still flowing and keep calling it in case you are just tuning in. This is still Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley and we are connecting with Revelation on the wall that says there is a way out for you. So keep calling in for prayers. Call in, dial the number right now. Call in for prayers. God is going to answer your prayer. There is an anointing flowing to bring you out from that situation in the precious name of Jesus. And as you are calling in, also request for the free prayer CD. I'm giving it out free, absolutely free of charge to you. Just request for it. It's going to be mailed into you wherever you are. Request for the prayer CD. It's going to be a blessing to you in the precious name of Jesus. So there is a way out for you. Number two thing I saw here is that life situations are temporal. Situations are temporal. They are not designed to be permanent. They are temporal. They are temporal. 
The Bible says that the situation is common to man, but God is faithful. He will not suffer you to be tempted or to, be, to, to face situations that is above what you can bear or what you are able to, to withstand. So the capacity to withstand it is in you. The capacity to stand it and to come out from it is inside of you. So don't lose the inner power. Don't lose the inner strength because that is what the enemy wants you to do. Some people are just in circumstances. If only they can look inward. If only you can look within. There is a solution within you. Greater is he that is in you than is he that is in the world. There is something loaded in you to bring you out from the situation. An idea is in you that will show you the way of escape in the mighty name of Jesus. So life situations are temporal. The Bible is speaking in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And verse 18, Bible says, Why we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So the things you are seeing now, the things you are passing through now, they are temporal. They are not going to be forever. You are surely coming out from it. You will not die in that. It's not going to be forever. The things that have not been seen, the solution you have not seen, the hand of God that is yet to be revealed is eternal. The Bible speaking says that the suffering of now is nothing to be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. So there is a glory in you that is about to be revealed, and that is why the situation is getting tougher and tougher. But you are surely coming out in the precious name of Jesus. Number three thing from that text and that scripture, 1 Corinthians 10, 13, is that God is faithful. God is faithful. No matter how tough long you've been, God is faithful. He has you in mind. He knows what you're passing through. The love of God for you is, 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 is unmovable. It cannot be de denied. It cannot be tampered with. God's love is constant. It doesn't matter what you're passing through. He loves you. And because he loves you, he's committed to making a way of escape for you. God is faithful, Bible says, but God is faithful to his promise. God knows it. He is going to bring you out from it. Don't give up on him. Don't lose hope on him because there is surely a way of escape. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 24, Bible says, Faithful is he that has called you who also will do it. He will do it. He will do it for you. He's going to do it for you. He's never weak. He's never, he's, never, he's never going to give up on you. He's going to make sure that you are coming out from it. You only need to hold on to it and be expectant that there is a way out. And finally, I saw from that scripture, Bible says he will make a way of escape. So there is a way out. There is a way out of the circumstances. Don't give in. Don't throw in the tower right now. Don't throw in the tower right now. You might have done that exam five times, six times, seven times, and you have failed. You are not a failure. You have only failed in something. That doesn't mean you are a failure in life. You are going to make it. Rise up again. Some God is speaking to somebody. Go back again. Do the exam again. Retake it again. Go back again. Apply for the job again. Do something about it again. Don't let it look as if it is over. Don't be tired. Give them a call. Go back there. There is a way out for you. And you're going to mix it. You're going to connect with it. Even in this season. In the name of Jesus God's faithfulness commits him to make a way out for you. When Israel left Egypt and they got to the Red Sea, it looks as if that was the end of their journey. But when God showed up for them, he, brought, he made a way out for them. I'm going to be praying over people right now. I'm going to be praying for you right now. If there anyone sick, get them on right now. Place them on the screen. Wherever they are, no matter the situation you're passing through, just understand that there is a way out for you. Jesus is committed to making a way of escape for you. And that's why he said in Matthew 11, verse 28, he said, Come unto me, all ye the labor, and are heavy laden. Come unto me. There is something in me that you need. There is something in my hand that your situation requires. And when Jesus comes in and you come into him, that situation will surely be over. So I'm extending an invitation to you wherever you are in the world to come unto him. Because in his hand lies the situation you are looking for. Jesus said, I am the way. 
I am the way. So it's the way to anything. The way out of the situation. The way out of that marital issue. The way out of that sickness. He is the way. In him lies the fullness of the God dead bodily. The power is in his hand. The capacity is with him to bring you out from that situation. In the precious name of Jesus. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. I pray over you wherever you are in the world that the hand of the Lord will come upon you. The situation will be over in your life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is coming out from every prison, every prison of shame, prison of delay. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out from that addiction. You are coming out from that frustration. Get out from the sick bed right now. Begin to walk right now. Rise up from the wheelchair. In the name of Jesus, come out from where the enemy has put you. That is not the place you're supposed to be. That is not your end. Somebody is receiving a call-up letter of promotion this week. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. So don't give up. Don't give in. There is a way out for you. You only need to look upward. Don't keep focusing on the situation, but rather look onto the solution. Keep focusing on the solution. Because the more you focus on the situation, the more it's going to be increasing. It's going to be expanding. And it's going to be subduing your faith. When you keep looking onto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, then you can connect with what God has for you in the precious name of Jesus. Now, I'm extending an invitation to you right now. Jesus is saying, come unto me. And in case you are watching me or you're listening to me wherever you are, and you are not saved yet, you have not come unto him. It's in, with him lies what you need to make life. I want you to pray this prayer after me. He's reaching out to you because he loves you. He's reaching out to you because he wants to help you. I'd like you to pray this prayer and say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Have mercy upon me. Save my soul. I believe in you. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. If you have just prayed that prayer, welcome to the household of faith. You are blessed of the Lord in the precious name of Jesus. And the Lord will bless you, will keep you. If you just pray that prayer, call in right now and uh, we'll be praying with you and also we'll be sending you a prayer message to guide you in the journey of your life. It's a new day for you. It's the beginning of a new season in your life in that precious name of Jesus. I know you have been blessed of the Lord today and if you want to listen to more prayer messages, listen to more revelational insights, you can go on our 24 hours radio. We have a 24 hours radio that is dedicated to broadcasting prayers, prophetic teachings, and insight all over the clock. The prayer is um, www.prayingradio.org. Get in there, connect with prayer. You shall surely be blessed in the precious name of Jesus. And I would like to have you come around this Sunday or any of our services to come worship with us. Let's celebrate Jesus together. Let's give God the glory together at the Empowerment Center. Now, the address is going to be scrolling in on the screen right now. We have services on Thursdays, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., and on Sundays, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Come around. Let's celebrate Jesus together. You shall surely be blessed at the Empowerment Center. The address is scrolling. 838 Secretary Drive, Arlington, Texas, 76015. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday, and I know you are coming with a testimony in the precious name of Jesus. Till I come your way again, Stay empowered and keep empowering others. God bless you. Amen.